This is back from me, Anthony. Today, I'll be reading a silly story called The Dinosaur Who Discovered Hamburgers. Book number 64. Do you like burgers? Because I do. Now let's find out what happens. Scout loved being a dinosaur. Of course, being a dinosaur had its perks. Dinosaurs were able to run faster, roar louder, and were stronger than all the other animals. But the best part of being a dinosaur was that they were all big foodies. They loved going out to restaurants and enjoying eating different foods. There are lots of dishes to choose from. Sushi, chicken nuggets, pizza, and more. But Scout always felt like there was a great dish that was still missing. Scout decided to go seek it out, and so began the journey. Scout packed binoculars, a magnifying glass, a plate, a knife, a spoon, and a fork, and a map. Scout ventured. Scout searched far and wide, venturing through treacherous terrain. Scout climbed the highest mountains. Crossed the hottest deserts and waded through the thickest swamps. Scout was exhausted and ready to give up. Just as Scout was about to turn back, a strange forest appeared into view. It seemed the forest had oddly shaped fruits. Scout used the binoculars to look closer. Of course! This was a bread forest! It was filled with bread buns as far as the eye could see. Toasted buns, sesame buns, and brooch buns. Scout grabbed some and continued on. Scout left the forest and entered a valley filled with beautiful flowers. But again, something was odd about these flowers. Scout took out a magnifying glass and took a closer look. It looked like the petals of these flowers were made of pickles. Of course, these were pickle flowers. Scout grabbed some and continued on. Scout kept walking and came across two strange rivers. One river was yet and the other was yellow. Scout got close to the rivers and took out the spoon. Scout dipped the spoon into each river and had a taste. One was sweet and one was sour. Of course! These were the great rivers of ketchup and mustard. Overjoyed, Scout packed some of each. Scout continued on and wandered by some large bushes that had a wonderful aroma. Scout reached into the backpack, pulled out the fork and knife, and started to poke into the bushes. Out came a meat patty and a slice of bacon grilled to perfection. Of course, these were bacon and patty bushes. Scout now had lots of ingredients and flavors to work with and started to head on. Passing back through the rivers of ketchup and mustard, walking again through the fields of pickle flowers, trekking once more through br the bread forest. Wading back through the thickest swamps, recrossing the hottest deserts, and climbing back down the highest mountains. Scout, finally at home, went to the kitchen and began to plan the meal. Scout tried many different combinations, 
but none of them seemed right. Then I came to Scout. Of course! Bun, ketchup, pickles, bacon, patty, mustard, and bun. The perfect order for the perfect dish. Now to taste our creation. Scout took a bite. It was good, but still felt like something was missing. So Scout decided to visit Dr. Ham, the smartest dinosaur scientist in town, to see what they could come up with together. Dr. Ham showed Scout the newest technology in food processing. Scout stood and watched Dr. Ham's team toil and tinker with their formulas to come up with just the right addition to the dish. The machines hung, the beakers boiled, and the gorges whirled. Voila! After the smoke cleared, all the dinosaurs looked upon their creation with wonder. With the new creations ready for tasting, Dr. Ham began official scientific tests. I'll call this Red Ball with Seas. This one will be named White Spicy Oval That Makes You Cry. This shall be called Crunchy Green Leaves. Scout thought the names were a little long and suggested they, made, they name them tomato, onion, and lettuce instead. The other dinosaurs agreed and were amazed at Scout's genius. Scout took slices of the new food and added them to the dish. Of course! This was what was missing. Scout tasted the creation and knew that this was the perfect dish. Scout shared this discovery with the other dinosaurs who all agreed that they loved this dish. Scout, thankful for all of Dr. Ham's help, decided to name the dish after the doctor. What is your phone name, Dr. Ham? My phone name is Dr. Hamburger the 12th. I come from a long line of burgers. It was settled. The new dish would be called the Hamburger. All the dinosaurs loved eating Scout's new dish. Even the Velociraptor food guide gave it six claws way up. Velociraptor food guide. Hamburgers, the biggest thing since that asteroid. News of the dish spread quickly and everyone had to try it. It was a hit. Eat me. Burger. Hit of the year. Burger Cafe. New dish. The dish was so popular that the dinosaurs even made an international hamburger day. Even movies were made to show how amazing the new dish was discovered. Scout felt happy and complete. The perfect dish was found, and all was right in the world. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!